Dr. Walter Tom. He is the medical director for Dr. Tom Cosmetic Surgery. DrTomCosmetic.com, three locations, Santa Rosa, Napa, and Maui. Remember them at 707-542-8346. Shall we stay in together as they've been nominated eight years in a row by you uh, as a best cosmetic surgeon and three years the last few years for best esthetician. And welcome to the program. We have another guest. Thank you, house. Robin. Thank you. And, and I would love to, first of all, thank the listeners. So you always are there for us. And thank you because we're actually going to the Press Democrat Awards uh, with Bridie, who's our, our guest today. Bridie is our medical assistant and we have all sorts of great new information for you uh, but we are going to the press democrat awards for winning eight years in a row and, and the listeners all of you who voted for us mom thanks for voting for me <laughs> and it's really great and um if i may just for a moment i want to just make a comment um we were recently we have a maui cosmetic surgery team yes. we were just out there a couple of weeks ago we were there when the lahaina fire hit we were only about three miles away and um and so i just want to you know send our our, all of our love from Snowman Napa counties out there to the people who lived on Lahaina Front Street. Uh, and we are in the process of uh, putting up on our KSRO uh, website. Uh, it'll be a, a personal note from me about where you can donate to help. Because uh, sometimes we don't know where to donate. And so these are people that I personally know uh, so that you know that you're trying to get to the people directly and we know from just what we suffered in Sonoma County with the fires uh, how important that is for to kind of share the love so I want to thank everybody and Robin thank you for giving me that moment and I just want to introduce Bridie Hello. This, this is Bridie <laughs> is our uh, medical esthetician and we are very lucky to get Bridie she actually has been a dermatologic uh, medical assistant I said esthetician oh, excuse yes. me <laughs> medical assistant uh, yes. with Dr. Dell Westrom, one of my colleagues is lucky enough to have retired. I'm not going to retire yeah, for about another ever. 10 years. Uh, when Dale decided to retire, and as soon as we found out that he was retiring, we like grabbed Bridie, <laughs> who is a wealth of knowledge in the dermatologic world as a medical assistant, and she came to join us. So, uh, Robin, when you asked me what we were going to talk about, I yeah. thought, you know, it'd be great to kind of get Bridie's kind of insights about mm -hmm what she thinks are good habits for taking care of skin. And and today, uh, it, it, even more important with the climate changes, you never know what's going on or when. Mm -hmm. Not that it wasn't important before, but please, Bridie, welcome to the program. Oh, welcome to so Dr. Much. Tom's Cosmetic thank Surgery. <laughs> and we appreciate your insights. What are the top five skin care habits, perhaps, that we should have? Well, I, uh, you know, there's a few out there, but my, over the years, uh, probably the most important for me is sunscreen. Ah. Number two would be Retin-A. Okay. Number three would be a vitamin C antioxidant. Number four, some sort of exfoliation. And number five, moisturizer. Moisture. Okay. Those are all great, uh, great, good skincare habits for us to, to listen to and to practice. So sunscreen, Retin-A, vitamin C, exfoliate, moisturize. Can we kind of walk us through those um, five steps to help us kind of get across and really put that in our daily habits? Exactly, yeah. I mean, there's it's just a nice recipe for overall skin care, skin health, coming from dermatology. Uh, Retin-A and sunscreen were the, the top two. And now that okay. I'm in the beautiful cosmetic world, there's all these other beautiful, luxurious add-ons that just bring that skin uh, health to that next level. Um, so the Retin-A is a great one. That's just, if that's all you're gonna do, that's great, but there's so many, so much more out there. Uh, the Retin-A really does help kind of regenerate, helps with collagen, helps kind of reverse that damage, uh, the sun damage, helps with skin tone texture, a uh, little bit of everything, helps exfoliate a little bit. And I have, yes. a, I have a question because you know since it's right now we're, we're recording and we're in the middle of summer you may be listening at a different time but um, Retin-A and Sun uh, is there a, an issue that we need to be concerned yeah, absolutely. with? Absolutely. So let's talk about that. So first of all you know Bridie mentioned sunblock okay sun protection okay. so that's number one and, and we don't want to spend a lot of time on the show even though that's the most important thing to do right Bridie? Yes. Uh, but we talk about it so much I kind of want to jump into some of the other Please. meteor you know, habits that variety thinks we should adopt, but certainly sunblock is number one. Remember, even if you use SPF 50, you need to put it on your face multiple times during oh, the day because mm -hmm. our sunblock only lasts a couple of hours, yeah. right? Yeah. A couple of yeah, hours. So, yeah. you know, we want to make sure that we're reapplying or if you have mineral makeup, reapply it. Uh, you mentioned about 
using Retin-A yes. and the sun because there's kind of a myth that, oh, you know, if it's in the summer, you don't want to use Retin-A because it, the, it makes you more sensitive to the sun or the sun makes you more sensitive to the Retin-A. And I will tell you then when we just talked about Maui and when we go to Maui, I actually take my Retin-A with me and I actually use it at night. So. Um, what are you telling your patients about Retin-A in the summer? Oh, definitely. It's, it's a year-round. It's, it's a forever thing year-round. Um, definitely, just if you weren't even having the Retin-A regimen, sunblock. Sunblock oh. will help protect, but you know, that Retin-A is just helping to slough off that, that extra dead skin cells that you want to brighten up your skin with and just protecting it with sunblock is really all you need to do. Okay. We say, you know, wearing right. a hat is better, staying in the shade, but if you're out there having fun in the sun, just protect the sunblock and reapply as doctor. So you, you can tell the bridey came from a dermatologic <laughs> office for 11 <laughs> years because that. you want to see the people are walking around with big hats all up. You yeah. go to conferences, you know, in Vegas and they're indoors, you know, and you want to see the dirty guys walking around with hats on and they're the dermatologists, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm only kidding, Dale. I'm only kidding, Dr. Westrom. But, um, <laughs> What Brady is stating is true. So Retin-A helps with our skin cell turnover. Our skin normally turns over about 20, every 23 days oh and it slows down with age. Uh -huh. And so Retin-A helps to increase that turnover. And actually of all the things that we do, mm -hmm. and that's why Brady was saying it's her number two behind uh -huh. sun protection, uh -huh. is that it is the really the one product that if you could have only one product to take care of your skin, it would be Retin-A. Now, um, that Retin-A can make you more sensitive to the sun, so you may think, okay, you, maybe I might burn a little bit more, okay? Or if you have it on, does the sun kind of accentuate some of the effects of the Retin-A? So what, we, what I would recommend on those hot, you know, those bright sunny days mm -hmm. is use the Retin-A in the evening. You heard me say that when I go to Maui is that I'll, I have my skincare regimen and I will put the Retin-A on, retin on in the evening. And then just like Bridie said, I put my sunblock on in the morning. So I do not put my Retin-A in. Right. Just once a day. So just a once a day, PM. exactly. I appreciate you kind of walking through that because I, I you know, you don't want to, you know, overdo or underdo. You want to kind of be right in the middle there. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah. And, and Robin, one of the things that I mentioned, so we're, we're recording this for YouTube. Hi everybody. On YouTube yeah. and uh, and one of the things that uh, I asked Bridie if it was okay if we kind of mentioned how old she is and how old are you Bridie? Oh I just turned 50. Yeah we, oh, happy birthday. You we, look like you're 35. Yeah, right. we, just oh, yeah. we just celebrated her 35th oh, yeah. birthday. So Bridie Bravo. was in the medical dermatologic world. They did a little bit of cosmetic medicine but they were really more in the medical side of mm -hmm. skin protection, skin cancers and so forth. So Bridie you weren't kind of using all the things that we use right now, nice. right? And what were, so you were using primarily what? Just sunscreen and Retin-A and, retin and maybe over-the-counter cleanser, nothing special, right. nothing. So but. you see that, and, and again, the the radio audience can't see her right now, but you know, you know, we'll hopefully put it on YouTube in the next day <laughs> or two. Um, and you can see that Bridie looks great. She certainly doesn't look 50. Mm -hmm. And the biggest mm -hmm. thing about it is if you look at her skin, and so for those out there in, in Radio Land, KSRO Radio Land, Bridie is blonde hair, okay, fair skin, okay. Mm -hmm. And usually blonde hair, fair skin, young ladies, they don't, their skin doesn't age as well, okay, as brown babies, okay, right, like right. maybe myself or you know, somebody Hispanic or Italian uh, descent, right? Mm -hmm. And and you can see how good her skin looks, and she basically was doing washing her face how many times a day? Twice. Twice a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please wash your face, That's everyone. Yeah. And mm -hmm. using Retin A in the evening yes. and sunblock. And you can morning. see mm -hmm. how that really makes a big difference. How many years were you doing that for? 11. Yeah, I didn't start, I didn't know Retin-A was until I started dermatology. So uh, it was a lifesaver. And right. uh, yeah, so at least 11 years. Right. Okay, 11 so years. that makes a big difference. And you know, Retin-A is one of the least expensive products that we carry in the office. Mm -hmm. and, and you can get it from us and we're happy to go over it with you and, mm -hmm. and how you would apply it. We usually mix it with uh, certain products, which we won't get in today because I don't want to confuse it, but it sort of is a carrier and has a, it accentuates. What's great about Retin-A is it accentuates some of the activity of our other skincare line. Yes. So okay. um, yeah. I think we're moving on to... Uh, well, Number three, huh, okay. Robin? What, three. Did, number, what did she say number three Vitamin was? C antioxidant. Ah, okay, vitamin wonderful. C is great. I that started that maybe a few years ago, and it's just a really good antioxidant, <clears throat> um, excuse me, to 
kind of brighten the skin as well and it just gives you that's the cells an extra layer of protection you have your sunblock and you have the vitamin c that really does protect the, um, the skin cell and it's it's some, a serum right? it's a serum so okay. it goes on nicely i would put mine on in the morning that's more of a morning uh, routine right, some people right. i don't know if they do it twice a day i did it once a day it was fine okay um, and it just kind of gives you that overall brightness glow and it can help also protect from the uh, outside oh. toxins and oh. pollutants in the skin as well. I see. So it does, Robin, it does um, give a glow. It's not necessarily what I would be kind of my selling point to someone like, oh, you want to use vitamin C for a glow. Mm -hmm. Interesting that Bridie would mention that. So, and, and as I think about it, it's true. That's what's great about having Bridie on the show <laughs> when we're right, learning right. from each other. Uh, from a, on a from a cellular level, so I mean, we've all kind of heard of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Well, what's really bad out there in the world are these what we call free radicals. Okay, so it's bad, so it's free, I guess. You don't have to pay for it. Okay, there are these bad free radicals out there. And they're kind of doing damage to our to our body cells. So we want to kind of harness, we have our own antioxidants in our body okay. to kind of fight that off. Mm -hmm. uh, when the free radicals damage our bodies or our cells, it's called an oxidative, it's an oxidative process or oxidation process. So that's why we're using antioxidants now, to fight off these free radicals. If that happens naturally and it gets um, and, you know, more difficult with age, yes. As with everything, okay. things yeah, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. our defenses right. diminish as we get older and okay. so vitamin C is yes. a great thing and I'm going to say we don't carry oral vitamin C but I'm going to say but I, I believe in taking vitamins I don't believe in a lot of the stuff that's being sold but definitely vitamin C I think has been shown to make a big difference for us from a health standpoint and definitely the topical, the topical. Uh, what is uh, the vitamin C product line that you like the best for yourself good question yeah I've tried a few I'm a little sensitive to certain ones but the um, the Abaji mm -hmm. the Abaji skincare yeah. line uh -huh. uh, has been perfect. I haven't had no issues and it doesn't have a weird smell like some of them do. It's just a really elegant uh, vehicle. When you put it on, it just moves on. Um, it, like you said, it's a serum. It goes on nicely after you, know, you cleanse your face mm -hmm. and it soaks in pretty quick so it's not greasy or anything like that. It's just cosmetically elegant. Right. Cosmetically elegant. I like yeah. that term. Right? And, yeah. and Robin, <laughs> with the vitamin C, what um, I'm kind of listening, right, trying to learn from when she, you know, when she talks to the patient, because she has a little bit more time sometimes than I do to talk to patients, and um, uh, she's talking about that she had some difficulty finding the right vitamin C. Okay. I can say that about a sunblock. That's why, I mean, I wish I could only carry one I, sunblock, yeah. but why do we carry, I don't know how many we carry, six sunblocks? Yeah, yeah. So, because everybody has their favorite, you know. Um, or their um, skin is, everybody's skin's right. different. We right? have 11 staff yeah. members, and I'm surprised we don't have 11 <laughs> different sunblocks, okay? But we, you know, we have six, maybe. Yeah. And so everybody, everybody's skin is different. Sometimes right. we're a little bit oily, oilier, like I think myself and Robin, you being yeah. Italiana, a little bit oilier. Um, for somebody like Bridie, who's more Northern European, the name Bridie, by the way, what yeah. nationality are you? It's Irish. Irish, it's yeah, it's an Irish, Irish girl, right? <laughs> so with that kind of skin, so for our listeners to understand where Bridie's coming from, could be a little more sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, and the vitamin C, sometimes it can be in an oil base, an oil-based okay. medium. Right. So some people need that. Uh, for me, actually, I break out with that, okay? Right. So I actually would use more of what we call the aqueous or water solution vitamin C. So that's the benefit of coming and talk to us and helping you with that. And also, we're gonna save you some money is that when you use vitamin C, use a little bit. Sometimes we see these, uh, especially like young ladies, maybe they've seen somebody and they say, oh, you know, you wanna use this uh, vitamin C skincare product, but they're putting out too much and they're breaking out. You just, oh, need, a, yeah. you just oh. need a little bit, right? Most of these products, you just need a little pea size amount, a couple drops, and a little goes a long way. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, well, that's a that's a great save me money yes. wherever you can. <laughs> well, it's not always better. Yeah. So sunscreen, retin A, and vitamin C mm -hmm. in that order, in that order as you're applying. Uh, well, no, retin A is uh, the PM tr that's treatment. The PM, okay. Uh, the vitamin C is generally AM. AM. And sunscreen. sunscreen is throughout the day. Got it. Okay. Oh, day, yeah. Yeah. You don't need it at night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just you out, okay. out, out, out. Unless you're in Vegas under the lights, yeah. maybe you need it for that. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank uh, you for that order because yeah. I need to get it in my head so that I have a, I have my tools in my toolbox. Perfect. Now the next one, um, we are talking to Dr. Walter Tong and medical assistant uh, Bridie Burke, who is helping us with top five skincare habits: sunscreen, Retin A, vitamin C, four. 
I, I love the exfoliation. Um, that can be um, physical exfoliation, like a hydrofacial. You can mm. treat yourself to something wonderful where they really clean, clean up you your skin. Get one. Um, then there's, you know, glycolic acids and certain topical lotions that kind of help, you know, help it turn over the skin okay. as cells as retin-A is, you know, underneath sloughing it off. So it's just, it's a whole, like I said, it's a whole recipe of, they all work together uh, to really create the health and the, uh, the way that we want our skin to look. As we're looking through um, the cleaning up and the exfoliation, how often is it should we get the, you know, the hydrofacial or use these peels and whatnot? I, I, I guess it's patient specific. I don't know. I'm asking. Come on, Brian. I will try. I'm, I'm putting, still I'm putting, all I'm this putting, fun I'm putting stuff. Bridie on the I spot. She, she looked at me. So if you're on YouTube, she looked at me. But I'm not. I'm not bailing around on this one. I bail you. Well, gonna... as far as a, if it's just the, we actually have a, a routine in our office. Uh, can I say brand names? Sure. Abaji has a exo exoderm that is a daily lotion that you put on uh, that helps just kind of slough off and clean. And then we, you know, hydrofacials, we have patients that come in every other week, every, you know, a couple times a month. 18. Um, just, Michelle, you have to you get know, one. Okay. It, you have to do it. I mean, <laughs> it just feels so good. It right? feels great. Uh, hydrofacials feel yeah. great. And, no, and, and there's no wrong answer to that in terms of right. how often to do the hydrofacial. Okay. It depends on the individual. Okay. Uh, and that's why I didn't throw, I didn't throw Brady to the wall. <laughs> so I let her, I let her, I, anything she said was going to be right. Okay. Of course, the, um, so the couple key words, Brady mentioned health again. So we're talking about skin health. And it's interesting if you talk about skin health, you will look more rejuvenated, you will look more vibrant, you will look younger, and you will look more attractive. So if you just keep on thinking of skin health, that will make a big difference. So um, we've already mentioned that with Retin-A, we use the word exfoliation or the cell turnover, okay? So why do I need an exfoliant, okay? Why do I need that, right? When you're trying to get me just to buy more products. Right. Everything works at a different level. Okay, so retin A is going to work at a deeper level for you. All right, and it's working on that cell. There's five different cell levels in the epidermis. Okay, okay. and so the retin A is going to be down at that basal layer, and that's what's so great about retin A. Okay, uh, and then usually the exfoliators that we sell, or, you know, um, over the counter, or what we sell in the office, which are even stronger than that, they're going to be working on a more superficial level. Okay, I see. so Bridie mentioned uh, the Abaji one, which is certainly one of our more popular ones mm -hmm. and, and again I won't go through the whole list of what we carry uh, but that helps with the more superficial exfoliation and so for Bob and so that's that works really well and you kind of want to hit the skin at different levels so that's uh -huh. the reason we're looking at combination therapy mm -hmm. and you always say combination therapy really is the key you know, you can't just eat something and not right. drink something, right? right. You, right. It's kind of the same right. thing, right? That metaphor. Right. Okay, right, right. Absolutely. We all may be having something that's not medical or cosmetic, something that you kind of feel real kind of knowledgeable about, and you might like this one particular treatment or tool, but we know that to really get the very best results, we need to pull in different tools and different treatments to get the results that we want. And once yeah. you start getting in to the routine of it, it becomes habit. And it's not, you know, at first it's like, oh, I have to do this or whatever. But then you get into it and you really enjoy it because it mm -hmm. feels so right, it, right, see right. It feels good you on your face, right? And it's like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. So top five uh, skincare habits: sunscreen, Retin A, vitamin C, exfoliate, and moisturizer. Moisturizer. Hydrating your skin. Okay. Um, and the segue from the exfoliation is it, it, it actually preps your skin to help absorb all the other products that we need to get into that skin, whether it's an antioxidant or uh, um, moisturizer, um, Retin-A, it, it kind of preps your skin to really get the best treatment it can get. So, so. if you're not doing the previous steps, that could be clogging your pores. Is that fair to I, say? Fair to say, yeah. In yeah. personal experience, I definitely see a difference oh. from one treatment to the uh, next. Um, and then topping it off with the moisturizer to really hydrate for myself, I have drier skin. Yeah. I wasn't Northern. blessed with the <laughs> nice, <laughs> supple skin. Look, as I call it, brown baby so, skin. Yeah, right, 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 right. Okay. So I have to keep it hydrated with a really good moisturizer. And you know, we 
a million moisturizers out there, but you know, you find a good one that is um, hydrating, might have some peptides in it, some ceramides. Now what's that now? What does that do? What are you throwing know, stuff I'm at throwing. me? <laughs> no, that's good because I want to know. I mean, they're, they're different um, ingredient and you probably um, pay, piggyback on this um, where it just, it's a little more hydrating. There's certain uh. more hydrating ingredients. Um, so, anti-aging ingredients. So I'm going to help her out a little Thank bit you, here. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. You're doing great, Bridie. Uh, we're so excited to have Bridie here. Yeah. And we feel like she's been with us for years. She's only been with us since January, uh, since Dr. Westrom you... retired. So we're pretty fortunate to have her on our team. Um, so the skin, basically, the very top layer that we look at, believe it or not, those are dead cells. Okay, mm -hmm. and they can accumulate and get a little thicker and give us a dull complexion, clogged up, bigger pores because of that kind of growing top layer of dead skin. So when we exfoliate, we use Retin-A to get the turnover going a little bit more quickly. Mm -hmm. Then we're, that top layer, there's still a top layer of dead skin, but it's thinner. Okay, okay. so it does. Bridie is exactly right. You know, she just hasn't learned the the my uh, cosmetic medicine <laughs> lingo BS yet. You know, dog. No, kidding out there and it's really true um, is that we're we're getting rid of that top layer of dead cells and so it's allowing whatever we're putting on your skin to penetrate because it has to penetrate through that top layer of dead skin yes. okay uh, and Bridie is absolutely right there are certain and so when she uses the word peptides or uh, different carriers we're trying to drive moisture into the deeper basal layer you heard me talk about the basal base or the basal layer of the of the epidermis uh, and so we we know that water is great if it can get in okay but you know we pour water on your hand what does it do it just sort of rolls off right mm -hmm. um, and we know that a big part of our collagen in our body is hyaluronic acid or I like to call it hyaluronic gel just because acetone's it, yeah, but it it's, but like, that's yeah, technically, yeah, chemically, that's what it is, hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic gels. Okay. It's a sugar type of molecule. And so that's why we actually work with the compounding pharmacy to develop in the Dr. Tom line the, the quench, which is hyaluronic oh, gel. Oh, and I, I really love it myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, it really does a great job once you have prep the skin, and I like yeah. the way that Bridie commented on the prepping the skin, that hyaluronic gel then is able to penetrate to the deeper levels. And it so can make if you're, a big difference. If you're, if you're buying these products, you want them to work. Right. So that's how we get it to work through these steps again, correct? Correct. All right. Yeah. So talking to Dr. Walter Tom and Bridie Burton, medical assistant for Dr. Tom Cosmetic Surgery, top five skin care habits. We've got about four more minutes, and I just want to um, kind of go through that again and then hit the things that I know that there's a few things that you think are really important. Not that none of them, they're all important, but if you could, um, you know, just kind of italic, you know, put in italics of which ones. So I, I might ask Bridie, okay, so you only have a limited number of dollars. And so, ah, you know, and you only right. and you only get to do one thing. What are you going to tell them to do? One thing. One thing. Gosh. Well, coming from my background, I would have to say Retin-A. Okay, okay so Renee, so I'm going right. to say sunblock. Ah, okay, that's not hard and that was an easy one, but I mean, that no, I mean, because we tend to, even though Bridie obviously believes in it and is a great example of that, um, but I you would see, say that's sunblock. Where, that's where you see, where, you know, two heads are better than one, right? right? So, so then if you could buy two, you would pick sunblock sun and Renee. Okay. Okay. And, okay, and so you think that Renee was your key to so. have youthful skin and healthy yeah. skin? Yeah, because I do try to stay out of the sun, so. Michelle's got a question. Michelle, yes, I do. I have a question. So when I look at moisturizers, especially if you're like at the drugstore or anything, and right. I see the words non-comedogenic or what, I, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. But what does that mean? And is that important to look for in a, in a moisturizer? It is, uh, you know, some, a lot of people are sensitive to a lot of the ingredients out there. Mm. Non-comedogenic is more cog. Clogging your pores, Clogging causing your pores. breakouts, basically. Right. Okay, oh. uh, and so okay. it can, uh, and so it's less reactive. Although we can react to lots of different things. Uh, I know that I was having a conversation with our lead nurse Mary, uh, and she was saying how she has difficulty finding the right moisturizer. So that's why, don't say, oh, I tried a moisturizer and I'm not doing it anymore because I broke out. That's fair. There's different types, just right. like me. For even though I really believe in vitamin C. 
it's taken me a long time to kind of find one that mm -hmm. will work for me because even though my skin is pretty tough in terms of reaction, I had a hard time finding the right one. Did you break out? Is that uh, what and, and I had in the past, yeah. and, and there's actually, we're talking about our two main lines are, are, are the compounding pharmacy we work with our Dr. Tom line mm -hmm. and Abaji Skin Care, and we actually just met with the rep yesterday, yes. oh. and I challenged her because she was saying how yeah, they're yeah. Their 20% uh, vitamin C, instead of being in an oil base, is in a liquid base, an aqueous base, and so you have less breakout with that. And again, don't use too much. Right. Okay. okay. And sometimes you see these young people yeah. when they go, oh, I'm on vitamin C, but their faces look red and irritated yeah. that they're using too much. So oh. save your money. A little bit mm -hmm. goes a long way. Right. Especially in the serum form, it really spreads nicely right. and easily. And, and then when you look at your products, too, and there's something that has alcohol in it, I always kind of um, uh, try to avoid that. I don't know, what would you take on it? I would kind of agree with that. I think yeah. it's much better in drinkable form. And I would not really kind of waste it. Although, you know, as a kid, you used a lot of that and all. You know, and I, know. I guess if you're, yeah, I would sort of stay away from that. Yeah. It's Unless it's a Mai Tai or something, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, we've got about a minute. If you don't mind, um, Bridie Berg and Dr. Tom, will you wrap up our top five skincare habits so that we can get that down in the oh. region digest form? Perfect, okay, okay. let's see. Uh, number one is our sunscreen, sunblock for protection, um, prevention. Number two is our Retin-A. Uh, number three is our antioxidant, vitamin C. Number four is our exfoliation. And number five is our moisturizer. I concur. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys couldn't be more adorable. And remember, uh, Dr. Tom, cosmetic surgery, and you're putting this on YouTube short today, correct? We will be in all a couple right. days. We'll hopefully have it up. Oh, we love it. Well, thank you for coming in, and thank you all of you for listening. We can't do this without you. Remember, DrTomCosmeticSurgery.com, 707-542-8346. They have three locations, Santa Rosa, Napa, and Maui. Let's stay young together. You're going to come back next week, y'all? I, uh, I would love to get her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Michelle Marquez and KSR News is coming up. Bye. Bye.